you all so glad to be able to join around God's Word with you. You know, one of my favorite parts about being a pastor is that when we have a good hymn to sing for the weekend, I get to sing it three times. That's a fun thing to do. It also means, though, that if we have a, a hymn that's a little harder to sing, I have to suffer through it three times as well, but we're not going to go there. One of the, the good hymns that we had for this past weekend, I, I just want to read to you one line that got me every time. It says there, Your work's not mine, O Christ. Speak gladness to this heart. They tell me all is done. They bid my fear depart. I can't tell you how many times I've been there just beating myself up over something I've done. It doesn't even have to be a sin. It's just something that I, I might be embarrassed about. Something where I, I tripped in my, my words or with my actual body. Something that, that I did that I could have handled a little bit differently. And, and then, yes, of course, with, with sins as, as well. So often when I look at myself, I, I am not filled with exactly a lot of happiness. But I tell you what, every time I look to the works of Christ, I'm never disappointed. And I know the same thing goes for you as well. The more that we look at ourselves, the, the more that we are just going to be filled with fear and disappointment, perhaps even anger as, as well. But when we, we transport ourselves from, from being navel gazers, looking at ourselves, but looking instead outwardly to our revealed Savior, it's so much better. It gives us that, that peace that we, we truly do need because His works, unlike ours, are perfect. His works are never a failure. His works have always been for our good, and, and yes, they do give us that joy. They bid our fear depart. Let us all stop looking at ourselves so much. Look at Christ, and this it will happen in your life. Amen.